What up boys and welcome back to yet another video. So in today's video we're gonna open up a hundred, well I think it's like 103 to be exact, of these emerald encrusted chests and I've done really good with these in the past and back in the days I would open these up on a low level tune in order to scale the items inside the box to be at like the appropriate level for twink tunes and I could sell those items for way more than to just sell them as a transmog. But the twinking, uh, like the world has changed a lot, and now people are running like wad dungeons to max out their twinks. So I just open them up on the tune that I farm them on. So we're going to talk about how to get these, and then we're going to open up the boxes. First of all, though, big thank you for all the support on the Zero to 10 Million Gold Guide. Really do appreciate it. It means a ton to me. And if you haven't picked it up yet, just make sure you use the code DRAGONFLIGHT on checkout, and you'll get it for 50% off. And also a big thank you to everyone that's supporting me as a content creator by joining the VIP Discord. It's pretty much like a Patreon, but everything happens on the Discord because, well, everyone is on Discord these days, right? And basically you get early access to all of my YouTube videos because they go up on Discord before they go live on YouTube. But there's also a bunch of other exclusive stuff that happens on the Discord. Uh, like you get access to spreadsheets to help you like gold tips and investments uh, and a bunch of more cool stuff that only takes place on the Discord. So make sure to check that out with the, uh, the link down below in the description. Now I'm going to calmly go and kill this boar right here to start to attack me because everything scales up to 60 these days so uh gotta be careful with this there we go and basically if you guys want to get these boxes you need to kill rare elites around in blasted lands and when you kill a rare elite you will either get an imperfected fragment like these green ones uh, or you will also have a chance at getting the blue version now this green one right here uh, when you take the quest and you deliver in the quest, you get one of these bags, but they just contain green items, 100% chance to give you a green item, with a small chance of giving you a blue item. So they're not that good, and I usually uh, can't be arsed to make uh, a video on these. Uh, I Generally, I just sell these on the auction house, right? While these ones gives you the chest, which has a 100% chance of giving you a blue item, and then a small chance of getting an epic item. Now, do keep in mind that these do actually sell on the auction house and a hundred of these would be like 103 of them would be like four, 42,000 gold. So will I make more than 42,000 gold by opening up the boxes? I don't know. That's uh, like it, it, we got to we got to wait and see what open up the boxes, but I do know that a lot of people just straight up sell these because they sell faster than the potential transmog that you can get which takes ages to sell, right? Uh, but I'm all about the uh all about the RNG and the thrill of the hunt, so I'm going to hand in this last one. So I have 103 of these. And uh before I uh, do anything stupid, I'm going to activate my uh, loot appraiser, so we're going to open that up and take a look at like the total amount of gold that we make uh, opening up all of these boxes. And that's definitely, um, like it's based on market value, that's what I have my loot appraiser on, so even if my loot appraiser tells me that I've made more than 42,000 gold, that's not necessarily the case. So we have to take a look at the end after I've vendored all the items that I do not plan to keep and so on. Uh, but you don't need to be like super lucky in order to make more than 42,000 gold because inside these boxes you can get something like a chance imperial rope like you can see at ATT which is a really good chest but there's also a lot of bullshit that drops out of these boxes. As you can see I have this uh, yellow coin on a lot of these items that I get when I click these boxes. Uh, that means that I've marked the items in the past as trash item and I want them to be automatically vendored. Uh, the add-on for that is called Scrap. So, so far, th th there's nothing really interesting in this one. I mean, some of these items, like the Soul Keeper staff, it's only 200 gold in my realm, even though it has a market value of 4.5k gold. It is a unique item. It's worth posting, but my realm is very different from a lot of realms because it's like the realm with the most gold farmers on in the entire region. And there's a lot of people on my realm doing these boxes after all of these videos. So these items are going to be at a, a worse price than they will at your realm, most likely at least. Um, 
Last time I did an opening of uh, well above 100 of these, I did not get the chance in Peril, so hopefully I will this time. The Hansa Swords are always good. They're typically between 10 and 20,000 gold each, and I, I have no issue selling them. Even though last time I sold like three of them, um, they got undercut down to a thousand gold each, and someone just reset the market button and they bought all of mine. <laughs> so that was uh, definitely not good sales. All right, let me see. We're like halfway through right now. The warmonger is typically a good item as well. Uh, like this one right here, only a thousand gold in my realm right now. I, I really do need a, a chance imperial by the look of it. Otherwise, I um, would have probably made more gold just selling the quest items. Goddamn. That's an epic. That is an epic. Cannot even loot it, though, because my vacs are full. Let me take a look. Let me just vendor all of this trash. That, that's not the best epic. That's like the epic that I was praying for to get back in the days because I would scale that epic to be like perfect item level and it would sell insanely well to uh, to the twinks. But nothing to do about that now. Let's just open up these in record speed and try to get a chance imperial. Nothing so far. Let's see. Viking war. Oh, was oh, that was a green robe. Got you baited by that one. Come on. Still a couple left. I'm not sure what's going on with my RNG. But I've done a ton of... If you watched my uh, my channel for a while, you've probably seen that I've done a ton of these openings. And I typically, when I do 100 plus, I typically always get Chance Imperial. But like the last 200 boxes, god damn, not a single one. Okay. So, how much gold are we left with then? There's probably a couple of these items that I still have to mark out. Like, these are not that good. They're unique, so they're worth keeping, like most of these items. Uh, unique items typically always sell because the collectors, they need all of them. Um, so, let me keep all of the uh, uniques. And I'll just mark up everything else, even though I have a lot of duplicates right here. That's a 9 gold weapon, there's no way. 123 gold, that's uh, not going to cut it. This is a unique item, but only 120 gold. <laughs> yeah, uh, this is uh, by no means not the best opening that I've had. Like, realistically, that's like 1,000 gold, up to 9,000 gold, 20,000 gold. So far, we got a warmonger that's 21,000 gold. Is there anything else, like, really worth mentioning? No. Well, I mean, I guess when all is said and done, and I've sold all of these items, I probably made, like, 25,000 gold. So, yes, I would have made way more gold if I just sold the quest items, but that's a part of the game. It's a gamble, and I fully understand why a lot of people are farming the elites, but then just selling the uh, the quest items. Uh, so, uh, yeah. With that being said, that was pretty much it for today's video. So don't forget to check out the VIP Discord channel. Link down below together with the gold guide, and I will see all of you guys back in at the next video. But until then, bye-bye.